Blinken, 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 Blinken postpones trip to Beijing after a spy plane, spy balloon, whatever in the world it is, spotted over the United States. Again, this is a couple days old. This is uh, shot down, which uh, World Carol has a, a great YouTube channel that I just found, actually. Uh, he's an XF-14 Tomcat fighter pilot, Navy pilot that uh, has hundreds of thousands of viewers. Great channel. Uh, watched a ton of his videos already. Uh, binged a bunch of them over the last uh, week here. And he has a great video about explaining the the, the balloon being shot down by the F-22 and, and stuff like that. So the first confirmed kill of uh, F-22, air-to-air combat kill. So, uh, you know, I, I don't even know. It's comical that it's an F-22. Nolan Bowerley talked about this a lot, too, and I, I think that uh, Ward talked about it from kind of the, the aerospace, uh, you know, fighter pilot, that kind of perspective. Nolan talks about it from uh, just the geopolitical and the the uh, you know, the Bitcoiner route and, and just thinking of what is going on, the simulation giving us a nod of Blinken postponing a trip, right? We're sending Blinken, this guy named Blinken, over to negotiate for us. So he's just, he's Blinken all the time. You know, the simulation is giving us a nod. He's Blinken while he's trying to negotiate and sh show his poker face. He's Blinken. You can't make this stuff up. And sometimes the, the simulation gives us these laughs just because if we didn't laugh, we'd cry, right? And at the end of the day, the, the, the balloon is, you know, representative of kind of the just cultural rot uh, of what's going on and things that are going on right now. And what is not being talked about, right? The, these are the things that uh, we, we have to understand. So if you want, if you want to break down and how, you know, the pilot, again, Ward Carroll's channel is unbelievable and yeah, you can go find it. And it's just his name, Ward Carroll. He talks about the F-22 and the pilot shooting it down everything. Nolan talking about just kind of the geopolitics. And I love the way Nolan talks about it again, of, you know, what's not being talked about, what's being seen, what's not being seen. You know, the balloon, it, again, at the end of the day, it, it it is what it is. Like I've talked about this before. You know, nuclear. Clinton was selling nuclear secrets to the Chinese 30 years ago. This is not anything new. The Chinese have a lot of this, the stuff that they need. I, like there's not, there's only so much that's going on. I mean, it is what it is. What happens there? You know, these optics are are just hilarious. The, you know, the thing has already crossed the entire United States, and then we're shooting it down with an F-22 like it's you know like it's a Big 21, uh, and it's 1971 or something. Uh, you know, in Vietnam, like what are we what are we doing here at the end of the day? So it's always being careful of what's being talked about, what's not being talked about, what are we seeing, what are we not seeing. At the end of the day, this is one of the big things. Nolan had his thing, what he talked about. Ward has his things and how, how he talked about it. And again, you can watch those videos. I'm not going to try to sum up their long videos. They're each, you know, 30 minutes, you know, about these things. But, you know, to me, what this signifies is, again, more just dis distractions. It's, you know, in incompetent leadership, government being incompetent in general, which we know is the case, right? Individuals and the, the private entities are always going to be more effective at, at administering really anything than the government. So the government just being incompetent in general, not knowing what's going on. Oh, I think it is. And we have confirmed that it should be a, a U.S. Uh, or a Chinese uh, balloon. So it's confident. It's confident that the balloon over the U.S. is a Chinese. I mean, it's like, how do you not know? I mean, like, it's just, it's just egregious. Like, how, how do we not? But just total incompetence. And uh, Biden's saying, hey, I told him to shoot it on Wednesday. And then they said, hey, sorry, boss. Uh, we'll shoot it on later. Uh, and then, it, you know, days later, it shot down. So just, you know, it just, it just terrible optics of what's going on. But again, at the end of the day, it, it really shows us that, you know, was there a reason that we, they wanted to postpone this trip, right? Do we want tensions to be high still? Do we need more uh, funding going to Ukraine? Do we need uh, people to keep people fearing over Taiwan and China? Do we need, you know, these are things that you have to think about fourth dimensionally, as Doc Brown would say in, in Marty in Back to the Future have to be thinking fourth dimensionally, have to be thinking what's going on, question everything with boldness, even the existence of God himself. You know, when you see people like sitting over their iPhone and like cheering like, yay, and like, this is like Sputnik, you know, going on, right? It's like Sputnik and some people are like, you know, they're like cheering on the beach like, yay, we shot down this balloon. I mean, it's just how far the American people have fallen. It really is, uh, you know, if I was, you know, <laughs> in these international countries, and I wasn't super friendly with the United States, I would just be, every single day, I would just like typing in the New York Times and, and like laughing my rear end off of like how ridiculously insane, you know, San Francisco Chronicle or whatever, or LA Times, wherever the garbage magazines are, and just be like looking at, the, I mean, shoot, I, I don't know why I'm saying that, YouTube, I just like type in Mr. Beast and be like, wow, look at these morons over there. This is amazing. This guy's got hundreds of millions of subscribers, and these people just sitting there all day like, well, I jumped off a building. 
incredible, absolutely incredible. And then we're over here cheering, yay, shot down a helium balloon. A child's, uh, a child's balloon from a party, from a four-year-old party. This is, this is the world we live in, guys. I mean, this is, you have one shot at life, one shot. And this is the world we're living in right now, this absolute clown world. But you don't need to be part of that clown world. Bitcoin gives you that, this 30,000 foot view. I thought I knew a lot about politics. I thought I knew a lot about history and, and, and geopolitics and all this. Bitcoin removes you even further. You, you become the spy balloon and you become the person that's 50, 60,000 feet above the earth, seeing everything as it's playing out, playing risk and, and able to move, you know, five, 10, 15 steps ahead. That's what Bitcoin does for you. And again, I come from a person who was very studied up on politics and history and religion and all these things for, for two decades. And Bitcoin has 10x, 100x my my understanding of what's going on, and in just political affairs and, and world affairs, energy, uh, you know, mining, whatever it is, right? And, and all these areas, and economics, everything, understanding inflation, deflation, how how significant those things are to understand. So, go go do that research. Don't trust, but verify, and and go see that. You know, at the end of the day, this is not about a, a Chinese spy balloon being, sh you know, a literally a, a child's balloon from a party being shot down by a, you know, $150,000 AIM-9 Sidewinder. Like, what, at the end of the day, come on. Like, this is, you know, it goes across the entire country. Is it relaying the information already to China? And then, like, then we shoot it down after? I mean, we just, we, we live in this world of the simulation. And the media is going to tell us what we're supposed to look at and how long we're supposed to look at it. If we do not rip ourselves off of that and go start doing our own research, go start doing our own study, then we are going to be completely lost. We're not going to know right side up, upside down, left and right. We're not going to know. So we have to start understanding that there is more at play than the, the headlines you're seeing. And, and then you can start to really begin to understand what's actually happening. And again, go watch Ward, Car Ward Carroll's channel. Go watch Nolan Bowerle, Count BTC. How, uh, Nolan's one of the most fascinating, one of the most intelligent people I've ever seen, be able to intertwine things and actually see what's happening um, from all different angles. It, it truly is remarkable. So go check that out. Go uh, see what he has in store because I, I think that you are going to be uh, blown away at, at how he thinks about things. So please like and subscribe to the channel. Please share this video out uh, with people that you, you think that are getting riled up about it or they're not riled up enough about it or whatever. Please let them, please let me know what your thoughts are. Please share this with them. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And we're gonna keep questioning everything with boldness. Please get prepared, independent, resilient. So we need our overlords even less. Become those people. Become the people that your children, your grandchildren wanna become someday. Bitcoin, gold, silver, water, energy, food, security, and community. At the end of the day, community. You know, uh, build that citadel, build that fortress up so that we can withstand the culture war that is on us already, the bio war, the chemical war. These things are here and now. How many more headlines do we need to see? How many more Chinese spy balloons? How many more, uh, you know, little things uh, poked in your arm? How many different medicines? How many different headlines do we need to see? How many different financial collapses do we need to see? How many different, uh, you know, issues? When you, every time you type in Yahoo or Google or The Blaze or wherever you look and you see just bad things going on everywhere. Life is mainly good. However, there are things that happen. We need to be prepared for those things at the best possible that we can. We have that ability, especially as Americans and Westerners, we have that ability to choose how we go out into the world, how we present ourselves, and how prepared we are. What are we doing to take advantage of that? I appreciate you. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.